In this video, we'll take a look at how to simplify square roots of even powers. If a radican is an odd power, we can simplify by factoring. For square roots of powers, after we have simplified, the radicand never contains an exponent greater than 1. So to illustrate that, taking the square root of 15, we'll use our product rule in reverse and express this as a to the 14th times the square root of a. Since a to the 14th is a to the seventh quantity squared, or the shortcut, take half of that exponent, it results in a to the seventh power. Let me illustrate that here. a to the 14th is a to the seventh raised to the second. The square root of something squared is that something. And our shortcut again is half of that exponent. Half of 14 is 7. And here we cannot take the square root of a to the first power. So there's our simplified version of this. In this next example, we'll break this down into factors that are perfect squares. 32 can be broken down into 16, a perfect square, and 2, since 2 times 16 is equal to 32. And here we have a variable with an odd power, so we'll break that up into x to the 10th times x, since x times x to the 10th is x to the 11th. Simplifying, we have square root of 16 is 4, cannot simplify square root of 2. Square root of x to the 10th power, all we have to do is divide our exponent by 2, and that leaves an x to the 5th power, and x to the 1st. Since there's only one factor, and the only factor is itself in 1, we cannot simplify that. To avoid confusion as to what's underneath the radical and what isn't, we'll take our coefficients out in front for x to the fifth, and we'll multiply those two radicals together using the product rule under one radical sign for our final answer in simplified form. And we're done.